Hey Brew Dudes, it's Mike here. It's a chilly one out in the garage tonight, but I figured I'd come out here and show you uh, what I'm thinking about building for a brew stand. Um, I'll show you what I have for the base stand and what it might look like with the kegs uh, on it and uh, give you some ideas of where I'm going to go. And uh, hopefully maybe uh, some of you guys can uh, leave some comments and some suggestions on uh, some of my ideas. So uh, let me grab the camera and we'll take a closer look at the uh, proposed soon to be hopefully brew stand. Okay, here we go. So this is what she looks like currently. There's not much to it. Um, so what you're looking at, I've got three kegs on top of it. <clears throat> I pulled this out of the neighbor's trash a couple of months ago. It's actually a steel stand for a very large aquarium. I have no idea what kind of size aquarium this would be, but um, I have filled the kegs with water previously just to see if it would hold the weight. Uh, it's pretty beefy, um, so I think weight's not going to be a problem. Um, a couple of things I'm thinking about is right now you can see it's probably going to be a pretty tight fit with the three kegs on there. They're right to the edge, and uh, you can see there's maybe about two and a half, two, three inches in between the kegs. That's pretty cool, I guess. With the three burners mounted underneath, it might get pretty warm uh, in between them, but we'll see what happens, I guess. Um, maybe that's something uh, people have experience with. Um, so down below, you can see the interesting thing about this frame, and it's all welded together, is that um, the side of it has this decorative, heavy iron, I don't even want to call it tubing, but... Um, which is pretty beefy, but I'm not sure if that back side of it would be support all the weight through a whole brew session with heat and stuff. Um, I think uh, rather than having some disaster, I, I might rethink that. So maybe I could uh, cut off all that decorative stuff and get some just a piece of angle iron to make a back leg there. Um, that's my thought there. Um, the other thing you can tell, you can't really tell from this camera angle, but... It's actually pretty high off the ground. Um, I tried stirring it with my mash paddle in there. Um, you know, this thing comes up to about, the top of the keg is about mid-chest on me. I'm not sure if stirring the mash would be kind of uh, an issue uh, with that setup. So one thing I was actually thinking, rather than get more angle iron, I might cut that front leg in half, grind off that weird decorative piping thing, if I cut it in half, then I could turn the whole top around and lower it using the bottom half of the legs for the front legs and the top half for the back legs, if that makes sense. Now I cut it right in the middle, turn it around, um, and then bolt the whole thing together or, or get it welded together again. Then the stand would be about half as high as it is, and the kegs would only be as tall as maybe the thermometer is on my mash tun right there in the middle which would make it easier to uh, stir and look into the kettle. Um, I think I like that idea better. Better. I don't know if anybody else has opinions on that. Um, my plan, the next plans would be to, uh, you know, take the burners out of my small turkey fry stands that I have now and use two of those, buy a third one, and then pipe it all in with black pipe. I need to buy some propane orifices, I think, just to... Uh, kind of standardize um, that part of the, the plumbing. That'll probably be the biggest challenge is getting the, the plumbing work. I'll walk around here the other side, you can see. Um, but if I did put more angle iron on the back side, that back leg, then I could potentially do a, uh, a cross piece on the sides um, to mount like a water filter or in the future mount a plate chiller maybe on the other end where the brew kettle is. That would be cool. Um, if I run a strut right down the middle horizontally between this leg, then I can use that to mount a pump underneath. That's another kind of must-have, I think, for a completely single-tier brew stand. So that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, I've got to start pricing out parts. Um, I just did a natural gas pro project in the house with a, a new stove, so... I have some pipe and some fittings left over that I think I can start to work into this uh, project. would be pretty cool. So that's the brew stand at a glance right now. It's not much. Uh, it's not functional, but 
Um, that's what it would look like. So if you've got comments or suggestions or if you've been down this road yourself, uh, please leave some comments. I'm open to ideas. Um, otherwise, uh, brew on. Cheers.